Hello? Today we're going to be releasing a Cooper's Hawk. I would like to introduce Mr. Jack Fodrell, also known as the Birdman of Kentucky Lake, here at Paris Landing. Jack, if you will. We have here a Cooper's Hawk that's ready to go. Interesting story about this bird. We got him uh, 11 days ago, and uh, he had half a snake in his mouth sitting alongside the road. And I figured what happened, the snake got hit by a car, and he saw the snake wiggling, and he started swallowing it, and another car hit him. He had a concussion, a bad eye, and a bruised wing. We waited a day and we took the rest of the snake out and started giving him amino powder for concussion and good old Gatorade to keep him from dehydrating and force feeding him. After four days of that, he started eating off the plate by himself. Now he's doing very well. As you can see, he's very active. You'll notice the back of his head, how he has a crest he raises up like an eagle. It's the only bird other than an eagle that does that. This is a male Cooper's hawk. And in hawks, the males and females are about a third difference in the size, the male is smaller. So actually this bird here, a male Cooper's hawk, is about the same size as a female Sharpshian hawk, which is a smaller one than this. The markings are pretty identical. The best way to tell them apart though, if you can see, on a Cooper's hawk, the tail feathers are curved. On uh, sharp shin, they're square. I always say, Cooper is curved, sharp is square. <laughs> That's what I remember. A beautiful bird. And I'm going to turn him over so you can see how pretty he is underneath. Look at the color on the wings and on the tail. Beautiful bird. A lot of your Real bird watchers don't like this bird in the sharp shin because their main diet is birds. And the bird watchers don't like not eating their birds, that's just, just nature. But this bird is, uh, they're fairly common in this area. I've got a female I've had for well, maybe four years. And uh, she's quite a bit larger, you know. In fact, the rangers that are working with me, they're just starting to learn about the birds now. And they were, because of the size, they thought it was a sharp shin. Well, because of the tail, it's not. It is a male Cooper's. And I think it's ready to go. Uh, when you turn them loose, you don't know which way they're going to go. The main thing is you want them to go. I want to make sure when I do turn them loose that they're ready to go. Because once you turn them loose, you're not going to get them back. And this bird is ready to go. He's a pretty little bird. And he's uh, kind of a close call he had, but he got to us in time where we could save him. And by the way, this is bird number 116 that we have rehabbed and turned loose, set free again. And uh, I say I'm a volunteer. It's a great job to pay sucks, but it's a good job. <laughs> But this is my reward right here. They don't get no better than this. When you turn them loose, it's just like when your kids are leaving, you know. But they don't come back with all the laundry, they just stay away. <laughs> okay, we're gonna turn him loose and see which way he goes. Are we ready to do? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Great, great. He's up in the tree and he's just looking around a little bit. Yeah, that's what you do. You usually go to the first tree and look around. It's a new territory for him. Okay, back to you. But he did what he's supposed to do. He took off and got the tree. He'll sit there for a little bit. Very good. Yep. Wow, come on, Brian. Thank you. Thank How you about for that? Letting us